sanguine, my brother. Neat. I wonder if we're gonna meet Ochiba. No, wait. She's dead. <laughs> well, I guess we won't be meeting her, never mind. What about the... I hope there's somebody who can match up to Orgro Gromalak. The, I don't even think that was his name. The orc guy from the Last Brotherhood, man. He was amazing. I went up to a little Nord girl. I am the Jester of Death. Oh, now she screamed. <laughs> he was the... Well... Hey, it's an air conditioner. And there's a heater. I'll take that. A little girl. Ah, at last. Oh, hey. I hope you found the place all right. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. Why are you a little girl? This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, united as one, the Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything. But you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. I'll take them all. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your... Endeavors. Endeavors. Hopefully it's got as many bonuses as the uh, the last game's armor did. What if I get caught killing somebody? Gloves, boots, and armor. And a cow. What about yourself? This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him and liked it. Then I killed again and liked it even more. And so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Arnbjorn, rose to leadership. And now, here we are. Huh. What if I get caught killing? Try not to. But I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously, but you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell, or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But there is another option. Some members of the Thieves Guild in Riften can get their bounties erased for a price. Something to think about. Hmm. Seems so. Who is not, I already know who the Might Knight Be sure is. and introduce yourself to your new family members. No, you're not as short as I thought you were. You're just kind of a little bit far away. But sweet. Now we got what? No, apparel. Poison resistance. Kind of useless. Wear is muffled and moves silently. Bows do 20% more damage. Nothing that is in any way, shape, or form effective towards me. Oh, 
<laughs> so bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Hmm? Ah, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damn teach me. Messy. Teach me, teach me, teach me. One of your latest, Arnbjorn. Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> like it, laugh. With a laugh late. I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> God damn it, you always laugh so late. It's hilarious. There you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gap with you. Huh, I love that one. It's nice to meet you, Beppe. You're going to love it here. We have a lot of fun. And we look out for each other, just like any family. I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa. And then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course, 300 years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably. Yeah, your eyes are kind of black. Stay safe. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Your eyes are black. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much a dead giveaway. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Hmm, potions. Well, you got books. Damage health, po oh, recipes. She's got 500 gold, though. Ingredients. Potions. Kill well and often. How you doing, bro? Me? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scale, you see. Once I was a Shadow Scale, an assassin in service to the King of Black Marsh, trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer, and once again, I've been given purpose. Life is good. You're my new friend. Until next time, brother. She'll call you Derek. Let's level up. I think, I think I'm gonna increase Magicka still. All right. Um. You're not the guy I want to talk to. I want to go talk to that magey guy. And before we do that, I have to drop something. Oh, uh, those are way like no. I need something that weighs like a lot, like that. All right, let's go talk to that mage guy. I wanna, I wanna learn that inside-out spell. That seems really cool. I think I know whose bed that is. Little vampire girls. Oh. She's not a girl. She's a woman. She's just a woman trapped in a girl's body. Thanks to vampirism. Vampirism. Vampirism, not vampirisms. Huh. I can't hurt that. Part of me was... I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't. I didn't want to piss everybody off. Well, well, it's raw meat. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all about you. Come now. What everyone else is saying. It can't possibly be true. Stace, word certainly travels fast, doesn't it? You infiltrated the position, eliminated the target, and made it look like an accident. Where is the mage guy? Oh, here's you, Babette. What are you watching? 
Oh, it's a cute little spider. Ain't he so adorable? I hope I don't have to kill all these people. Hello. New brother, may I offer my most sincere welcome to our family? It's nice to meet you. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. Can you tell me about yourself? What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. I love unicorns! In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. I like you. Darkness I shall call you I Derek. Do. I think that joke's getting old now, though. I've used it like three times. That's two to three times too many. This is a pretty big little sanctuary though, though. I mean, back here again. Huh. That or I'm just getting really lost and people are avoiding me. I was hoping there'd be like a little secret passage. Hmm. What is the color of night? There's I'm Ashford. afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. Huh. You Shrouded shoes. Shrouded hand wraps. Let's see, let's take all of this. Do they offer different things? Apparel? Shrouded glove. Ooh. Hood sneaking is twenty five percent better. Wait, what's the difference between boots? Armor. Huh. Yeah, I think the robes would strangely be better. I'm an Argonium. I'm resistant to poison for the most part. Sithis. <coughs> God damn it. Apparently Sithis makes me sneeze. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. I'd look scary coming up like this. I really would. I'm gonna have to add... I'm gonna add this. I just like using this for the sake of irony. And I'll bound it to two. So Nazia. you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. Whoa. Really? What are we going to learn here? Something with death, word of power, leech, marked for death. Really? Shouts? Marked for death. Speak? Wow. Ooh. It's cool. It's got like two effects now. not really used to sneaking in this game yet though so it might be it's gonna be a weird transition but I look cool though I mean I look really cool so I have no complaint I want to fucking talk to the mage guy really badly where is he okay map what am I missing probably missing where everybody sleeps. Fine, I'll just talk to you. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Save the niceties for now. I have no intention of getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. Well. If you're still breathing in a few weeks, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. I alone. Do some work for me. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few.